Good morning, and welcome back to a new episode of Primal! One that's not a live stream. Thank you very much for joining me today. This is Mac G with Mac G Mania, and yes, we are back to playing Primal. And I've got some stuff recorded that I'm really excited to do with you guys. Or, not recorded, I'm back to recording at least a little bit. Um, I have found that um, the live streams really do fit my style a lot better than an actual recording but that's okay we can still do this we've got plenty to do really really and today we are going to get into a new mod pack to me one that I haven't done a whole lot before and it's called cooking for blockheads we've been cooking a lot as you can see by my wall of ingredients we have been cooking a lot in our quest for the ever elusive chimichangas and we could actually make chimichangas right this second but cooking for blockheads is supposed to work with Pam's Harvest Craft and make life easier for us as far as as how to do the cooking so I've got recipes for things for cookies cooking for blockheads all set up right here except for one thing this this guy this is important this means we can pick up the lava it's a trash can and we can pick up the lava out in the field do I have I do not have in preparation for cooking for blockheads I've cleaned up my my little crafting grids um, I need oh I bet you it's in my backpack yep and we've already got that so we'll just go ahead and we'll pick we'll run out here and we'll pick up this okay maybe we won't run out here we are going to get some dirt because we have to fill in a hole we don't even need to... what am I thinking what am I thinking we don't need that we just need dirt to fill in the hole about three of those because that's about where we are yep and then we'll fill up our hole because it's a mighty fine hole it's the kind of hole where you walk past and people know that you're afraid of nothing. Or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and clean that up. There we go. All done. Poof. Gone. We don't need it anymore. We really, really don't need it anymore. Because now we have that trash can. A real one. And thank you for putting that in here. Oh my goodness. Really. Mr. Crimes, thank you. Um, okay, so back to cooking with for blockheads there's a couple of books we're gonna start with cooking for blockheads one all I did was take a regular book which we have a bunch of not as many as we had before but we still have a bunch I took a book ran it through our smelter and I got the cooking for blockheads one book okay so now with two diamonds and a couple of crafting tables I'll get cooking for blockheads too. Now we need to take this book and put it in here with five terracotta and three stone and we get the cooking table. Now I want to put this oh this is gonna to be tough I think we're gonna to need to make a corner block too which I haven't done let's put it put it nope we're starting to run out of space I think we're gonna have to build a house soon um if I put it here is it gonna mess with anything now actually I want to put it here because the next thing we're gonna make is the oven which is five iron a furnace and three black stained glass that was the problem for me because I thought you know like a lot of recipes that it was just going to be stained glass. No, not just stained glass. Is that my terracotta? It's orange terracotta. I want just regular terracotta. I have one. Let's make five more. We will need clay blocks. How many do I have? 
five. Well, fine. It's not like we can't make more. We can make a lot more because we have a ton of clay. I mean, 300 clay balls. That's that's a lot of clay blocks. So we're good. Um, guess I wasn't quite as ready as I thought. I'll need three more of these. And so um, I think that's how you make this corner. Yep. Three stone and six terracotta. And that's what we're making. Almost there. There's a zombie around somewhere, but he's like underground or something. Can't get to us. Not a problem. Almost there. Oh, we're going to need our sink. And there we go. Alright, so we need this corner. And we'll put you here. We're going to put you there. We need a refrigerator or a fridge. We're going to make two of those. And that was just an iron door. There we go, a fridge. Okay. Ooh. Can we start putting... No. Okay. What about here? Uh-huh. Juice. No, we can't put the juicer there. Pot. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that! And then the big dish, baking dish. Excellent, okay. And then we're gonna make two kitchen counters. Cause they're, or cabinets, cause they're storage. Juicer, mortar, mixing bowl, cutting board. Right, is that? All right, now we need to test. We need to make something. All right, we need to make something. Let's look at, we've got everything we need now. Let's look at the elusive chimichanga. We need cooking oil. We need a taco, rice, cheese, salsa, and heavy cream. Okay, we don't need that one. We need a taco. Salsa, um, rice, that's rice, right? Yep. Uh, cream, heavy cream, nope, that's milk. Um, heavy cream, start tossing some of this into here. Heavy cream, okay. Oil, cooking oil, we have that. Pot, the cooking oil, the taco, cheese. Cheese is all we need, I think. Now, we should, if I do this, a chimichanga. Make it. Make it. <gasps> there it is! We've got a chimichanga! Yes! Okay, let's look at... Corn, corn. Because how much corn do we have? We have 60. Uh, let's take all of it and put half of it back. And then we'll put the corn into here. Now, can we make corn tortillas? Or we'll need corn meal, right? Okay, that should be all the corn meal. Which we can then toss back in. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Okay, look at that! We can make our salt, we can make our bubbly water, we can do it all right here now. And then tortillas, look at this! Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't. Okay, it doesn't go straight into there. Can I just plop? Okay. Okay, and there it is. Okay. This makes life so much easier. 
and we'll toss the tortillas in there. Now to make tacos, that's what we're doing. We need some tofurky, no, tofake. Tofake. Come on. Come on. There we go. We need the cooked tofake. Oh, I just did that, didn't I? Well, I have cooked tofake. Let's go ahead and just plop those into there. Let's make some more tofake. Oh, oh, let's... Okay, I get that. Not enough ingredients. Show me... Show me what I have to do. E A K. Oh. Okay. Doesn't show me the recipe. That's fine. Can I can I raw tofake? Nope. Okay. I know I keep saying okay, and I'm sorry. I'm excited about this. It's exciting. So we need firm tofu, mushrooms, cooking oil, black pepper, and soy sauce. Black pepper, soy sauce. We'll just toss it all into here. Uh, mushrooms. You know, at this point, we might as well just toss everything into here. Garlic, tomatoes, spice leaves, rice, oil, cream, limes. Everything goes in. We'll keep the chimichanga out for us. The almonds we are. Right. I can word. Um, silken, milk, jam, peanut butter. Um, sugar will leave, or the sugar cane will leave. We'll take the sugar. I don't know how much storage space this has, and we might run it out. Sugar flour? Oh, and we didn't, oops. We haven't done anything with, take the bread out. Um, no, yes, might as well, right? Oh, nope, some of those don't go in there. Um, these guys don't go in there, but this stuff does. Okay. Uh, cucumbers, peanuts. Right. We're doing good. Onions, we need the onions in there. Um, don't need hops, not seeds. Corn. I might as well put it all in there now, right? Um, eggs we don't need. Peppercorns. Cheese. Uh-huh. Okay. We'll just toss these in, and then now we should be able to make just about everything. Okay. And let's go ahead and just toss the apples. Those were the, the like, apple seed things that you could put on here. Is it real? No, it's day. Still day. Just a dark day. Must be um, a storm going on. Not a big deal. Let's run over here to our almond tree. Because it's with the almonds that I make my fresh milk. All right, come back up here. Do do do. Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Almonds. Got all the almonds. Limes. Let's get all the limes. That 
Cooking with blockheads has just made life so much easier. I mean, not that the cooking part was hard. It really wasn't. But now it's all right there. I mean, it's all right there. And we're not going to worry about the peppercorns. Let's go. We've got all of this food. Yayas. We're gonna turn we're gonna put the limes in the fridge. Right? Limes in the fridge. Um, we're gonna put the almonds in the squeezer. And we're gonna put those in the trash. Oop, nope, and those ones. Because you couldn't eat those ones. But look at that food. Eight and eight. That's awesome. And look at how much space we've just now cleared up. Look at this. All cleared. Look at this. Empty spots all over the place. I mean, that's... I like this. This is awesome. It is really... Taboo. Although, <laughs> we did put a lot of stuff in here. We should look at the toaster, because I think we need a toaster this guy oh that's a lot of iron and I'm not ready for that well, I'm ready for it but I don't want to do that because that's four eight iron a stone button not a big deal and then yeah that's eight iron and I have three I mean I have more but that requires blooming it down. So, we are going to leave that for now. Let's take a look at... Better with mods, because I want to see what other things we can make here. A turntable. Not too worried about that. An anchor. The millstone. Steel grain box. Pulleys. We can make an elevator with the pulleys. Um, planters. Oh, I kind of like those grates. The billows and the hibachi, which we aren't ready for. Wind chimes, some food. Soul forged anvil. How do you make soul forged steel? You have to make it in a stoked crucible. And to make the stoked crucible, we need a hibachi. Yeah. I think, not that we have hit the end of Better With Mods, but I think we've got the stuff that we need, the usable stuff that we need, really, out of Better With Mods. I mean, we can make the elevator with the pulleys. There's vases. There's, I mean, there's some cool stuff. But a steel pressure plate. But honestly, I think we're done with Better With Mods, at least... I think so. The companion cube. A block dispenser. A companion cube, huh? Oh, you need a soul urn, which we don't have yet. Yeah, we don't have this stuff yet. But we need that hibachi. What's this? A screw pump. Oh! Neat! Because I saw that there was an Archimedes screw. I wonder what that does. A platform. And vine traps. All right, where's that hibachi? Detector. This guy. See, we need to make this guy some a heating element, which is blaze powder. Not too terribly bad a deal. But we need to make hellfire dust, which we need to make this filtered hopper, which is a lot of stuff. We're, we could do it, but we're just not ready for it yet. See, that's two, three, five. We're going to wait, because while we can, and we should make another chimichanga. We really should. See, there's another chimichanga. Look at that. That's just... I love it. We can just make chimichangas. Our inner Deadpool would be proud. 
because we now have Jimmy Jones. Boing. Um, okay, nothing in our furnaces, so we're all good there. So I know it was quick, and I had all the recipes laid out for us. And I know this will make it a bit of a shorter episode for us today. But we pretty much just powered through cooking for blockheads. And now we're set up. I mean, we have everything that we need for cooking for blockheads. And we can make an uber food right now. I mean, look at this. I mean, I mean, there it is. Yeah. Oh, burp. And look at, look at our saturation there. One meal and eight saturation and yeah, we're, that's, that's awesome. And we can make this whenever we want now. So, right on. So thank you for joining me. This is Mac G with Mac G Mania. And we just flew through cooking with blockheads, and we looked at a few other things. We got a trash can, and all of that's done here on Primal. Uh, check us out. Check it um, in the Twitch launcher, and you can join our server, where actually I have been playing a little bit more than I have here. Um, but come check us out. It's, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. And if you can't have a great day, try to have a good one so everything comes up aces. Bye now.